Welcome everyone and I hope this is going to be an exciting day for you to watch this very fun and exciting and wonderful video op. And it is comprised by artists who are members of the Facebook group called Creative Arts Collaboration. Um, that will be linked down below. And the way a video hop works is that down below in the description box are all the participating artists with their video links and you just hop from video to video and watch each video and hop to the next one. And please like, comment, or subscribe to these artists and their YouTube channels that is greatly appreciated for us that put a lot of hard work into our channels and into our videos. So the theme of this is hashtag summer, I mean hashtag refreshing summertime art. So let's begin about what I'm doing here. I'm working on a stretched canvas. It's about 16 by 20 inches and it's inspired by a book. The book's title is Painting the Sacred Within, and it has a subtitle. Just a moment. The subtitle is Art Techniques to Express Your Authentic Inner Voice. And there are two authors. That's Faith Evans Sills and Maddie Rose McDonough. Now, I was inspired by one of the chapters, which was called exploring a focal <clears throat> excuse me exploring a focal point and the theme was a jungle theme so to me this is an abstract jungle and it had 19 steps to follow which were for me were very good for learning a few new techniques and really how to create an abstract painting so I really loved using these techniques for, so it kind of gave me a guideline, guidelines for how to create an abstract painting using many different techniques. I love abstract art. I love, I like realistic art too, but um, I've been more interested in going in the direction of creating more abstract art. And I love the idea of it, of you ex of expressing an authentic voice, learning more and more how to do that. So I'm stenciling here, and that's one of my favorite things. I love stenciling. So that was actually one of the steps was stenciling. So e everything I do in this painting is one of the steps, and, and there was 19 steps. So that was the stenciling with two different type stencils but stenciling with the same color here it's using inks and I am using Dr. Dr. P.H. Martin inks and using ink to draw flower to draw two flowers in a very linear and simple way. And it was really good to get these inks out. I haven't had, I don't think I've used them in a year or more. So it was really great using some materials and products I haven't used in a while. Another material and pro that I had not used in a while was that green pen that, that I created, those little um, tiny leaf shapes. That was a Art Deco marker, which I showed previously. And I love dripping also. Dripping drips are very emotive, I believe, in when you see them in paintings. They can represent things like sadness or being carefree, loose looseness, and so for me, they they can represent different things, and I love creating drips and, and paintings. And adding the water helped it drip more.
Um, also, for the authors of this book, I will be linking their websites below as well as their social media links and, of course, the book title itself. Now, these are water-soluble oil pastels. I'm just going to use them as regular oil pastels. I'm not going to add water on these. But this step is adding vines. So this is a very mixed media canvas using quite a bit of different mediums. I really love that book though. It, it's it's very inspiring and there's some beautiful artwork in there and they actually show you, they explain step by step how these different abstract paintings, all the paintings are abstract, how all these different abstract paintings are created, which I appreciate very much. And even though I'm following this, these 19 steps of this chapter, my painting does not look like, does not look like the, it's not a copy of the book, of the, of the painting in the book. I am creating, I am following the steps and creating my own uh, designs and shapes and my own choice of colors. Again, it's I'm working on vines. I'm using acrylic paint. In this step, I will be creating a flower that is very much like a mandala style. I hope you are or will be enjoying the video hop. I just like a shout like to shout out again since this is about the mid midpoint of my video to remember um, the video hop works the way that you you watch one video and then uh, look in the description box and hop to the next video and we very much appreciate your likes, comments, and anybody, and your subscriptions to our channels. Many artists are doing wonderful things in this hop, and you don't want to miss anything. There's some very creative people in the, the our Facebook group called the Creative Arts Collaboration which is a, a membership of only YouTube artists. So you have to be an artist that shows your art on YouTube and creates, creates your own videos and you have to have your own channel. So we support each other and 
share information, and if that interests you, oh, please, uh, please request to join the group. And we have these video hops uh, periodically throughout the year, so keep a heads up. So again, I am using acrylic paints and I'm mixing up a very pale pink. I'm starting out with the pale pink, but will be, and I'm finishing up the mandala flower with this pale pink. Later on in the painting, I switch to hot pink, which is really good because I have that very bright orange and the, uh, some either that orange or a, or a very other bright color needs to be repeated somewhere else in this painting to help unite it and unify unify it. So the hot pink, which I use, I believe in the next step, is going to help unify this painting. And since this the chapter in this book was called exploring a focal point that mandala flower is supposed to be the focal point. Oh, I'm spraying it right now with a white glimmer mist spray by Tattered Angels, which is part of the Canvas Core Brands Company. I have quite a bit of their products because I, um, one year I was on their design team and I got discount. I got some free products and discount on many products and I love these sprays you can use them and the, I just love them for if you want to be dripping or you want translucent color that was really nice for putting in a translucent white So now, next step, using more of the pale pink that was used up in the mandala flower and creating flowers now on the vines. A 
the about the next couple minutes it's pretty self explanatory um like I have been periodically in in the past few minutes of my video playing music periodically I'm going to again play some music Quelques minutes, 
que dans son temps pavé Il m'a caressé que planté Tu es le crime que j'ai commis Tu es le crime que j'ai commis The hot pink paint that I'm using right now, it, um, I'm painting the mandala flower, which actually is the focal point, and the pink is bringing out and emphasizing this focal point more. So that's the end of the painting. Here are some close-up shots. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, please uh, visit this uh Visit the links down below and enjoy hopping in this great video hop. Have a great creative day.